Next, we can factor this expression to get it more clearly in terms of the uh, constant f. Dt. And then it's relatively straightforward just to divide through both sides to get the important expression for the ratio a to f. The reason why that's important is a is the uh, is related to the probability that a particle will go from left to right and enter into the barrier, and f is related to the probability that it will exit outside the barrier. So this is an important ratio for us to uh, determine here. E to the i. And we number this important equation as equation number 11. Next, we noticed that we have these two important expressions here, i small k plus k squared plus this k minus i small k expression. We like to evaluate those because we're going to need that for uh, simplify, simplifying our expression. So we take this and square it. We get big K squared plus 2i small k big K minus k squared. And the important thing that's going to be useful for us is that we can rewrite this as big K squared minus small k squared plus 2i small k big K. We can rewrite this expression. We can flip the order by uh, multiplying by minus 1. So that would give us minus bk minus ik squared. Since we take this multiplied by minus 1, it turns it into k minus i small k. And we need a minus 1 to do that, so that's where the minus 1 comes from. If we do this, this gives us that we have minus bk squared plus 2i small k big k plus small k squared and this can likewise be written as minus big k squared minus small k squared plus 2i small k big k and this will become as essential in the next step in simplifying equation number 11. So, simplifying equation 11 gives us
Now, using the identity for the hyperbolic sine, we can rewrite this as Just to show where we got that, this expression here is equal to 2 times the hyperbolic sine of KL. Similarly, we recognize here that we have 2 times the hyperbolic cosine. So you can actually write that continuing as We note that now we have an expression for A over F, and we had said before that the probabilities are related to A and F. Well, the way that they're related is through the complex conjugate. We're really interested in A star A and F star F. So to help us towards that, let's find the complex conjugate of the ratio A to F, A star over F star, and we find the complex conjugate of this expression, and we replace every i by a minus i. And we notice something very important, that if we multiply a star a divided by f star f, that the expressions in brackets here, we actually have this, a sum in difference. So since we're multiplying a plus b times a minus b, we know we're going to get a difference of squares. We also notice that if we multiply the two terms in front, e to the i k l times e to the minus i k l is simply equal to 1. Divide the denominator, we get minus 16i squared, which is equal to 16, small k squared, big k squared. And now we have a sum in difference, so we have 4 times k squared minus small k squared. Quantity squared, the hyperbolic sine squared times kL. And then here, since we have a sum of difference, we have minus 16i squared, which is simply plus 16 small k squared, big k squared, times the hyperbolic sine, cosine squared of kL. So now we have an expression for the ratio of the probability of A to the probability of F. In the next step, we'll utilize the identity that the hyperbolic cosine squared of X is equal to the hyperbolic sine squared of x plus 1. Also, we're going to slightly rewrite our ratio. a star a, we're going to write as the modulus of a squared, and f star f as the modulus of f squared. And this gives us
So now we have it entirely in terms of just a hyperbolic sine squared. And we can continue. Now this is a useful ratio, but we're more interested in knowing the ratio of the transmitted electrons, which is the F squared, relative to the um, probability that they entered the barrier in the first place, which is A. So we're really interested in the reciprocal here. Uh, it's even more useful to us. So we take the reciprocal, and it gives us If we take our previous expression and divide it through by 16 small k squared, big k squared, we get the following result. Then we can act, actually factor out from this smaller fraction inside a fraction, 4 over 4. And that gives us Next, we actually seek to simplify this particular expression here. So note that if we take big K squared minus plus K squared, it gives us the following result. We get 
if you multiply this out, you get big K to the fourth minus two small k squared big K squared minus small k to the fourth plus four small k squared. We notice we can combine the minus two small k squared big K squared with this, which gives us the result of k to the fourth plus two k squared big K squared. plus k to the fourth, and we can rewrite this as big K squared plus small k squared squared. So that allows us to replace the expression inside the bracket simply with big K squared plus small k squared squared. Now, using this substitution, we're able to write our final version for the ratio of the transmitted electrons to those that entered the barrier, the transmission probability, we say, is 1 divided by 1 plus k squared plus small k squared times the hyperbolic sign of KL divided by 4 small k squared big k squared. So that is our big result. I thank you very much for your attention. Have a good one.